Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC on the GeForce GTX 750 Ti with and without overclock. For PS Monitoring, I'm using Cam and if you want to learn how to use it, in the top right corner of the video where the Cam logo is or check the description below if you want to learn more. So Blood and Wine DLC, I'll be using mostly the options I use in the main game but with a little higher preset. So some stuff will have more detail. So what am I going to do? Okay, first without overclock, I'm going to test the main city. I'm going to ride on horse on on the main city a little bit. Then I'll go into the highest point of the of the map and look at the city. Then I'll do two boss fights, and that's it. That's for all the resolutions possible. I mean, all the resolutions possible. All the resolutions I do, which are 1080p, 900p and 720p with the same settings maybe 720p a little higher setting if you want to see when i change resolutions when i overclock and all that kind of stuff check the description below the moments when i do that in the video are there uh wait when am i testing this dlc well this is mostly an expansion this is how dlc should be in the first place on all games there is a huge new area a lot more quests and new objects and for this one they are using a different approach of rendering the game's environment so this version this dlc runs way better than the well runs significantly better than the main game since they are rendering the game in a different way so the props that are in the are in the environment in the main game they use each one its own texture in this one it seems that they are using a single texture for a lot of props at the same time so they are using well, less resources. That means that the game runs better overall. So I can use higher settings and keep mostly close to 30 frames per second on 1080p, for example. And there are some awesome boss battles here with some monsters, like this one that you can see right here. It's fantastic. So I'll do this same thing on 900p, 720p, and then with overclock. So you can compare it yourself. Remember that I'm recording, there's a 3 to 5 FPS boost if I'm not recording, so keep that in mind while watching this, it should run better if I'm not recording. And yeah, this game, it looks better than the, fi than the base game, in my opinion. It has a more colorful theme in this city. I don't know, overall it seems to look better. So yeah, it's a great recommendation if you finished the main game. You can start it right away without playing the main game. You'll have a level 35 Witcher for this. So if you want to start this without the, playing the main game, you can do that. So it's a great option. Uh, well guys, that's pretty much all I got to say for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Nothing to see here. Move along.
Crowd around.
Nothing to see here. Move along. Get it No two ways about it.
run, Roach. To be born in Tucson is to be born under a bloody stone. Wine. Sunlight captured in a bottle. Nothing to see here. Move along. For my lady, you uh, watch out. I swear, I'd kill a monster. No, uh, no one, not one for all. Triumph against all odds! Drink up the ocean and set fire to the wood! For nothing! 